The Air Force and defense industry have been trying to get the A-10 program canceled and mothballed for decades. What is often missing from the conversation is the opinion of the pilots, the A-10's tactical value, and the cost of replacing them. An A-10 costs $13 million versus an F-35 that costs $80 million. 30 millimeter rounds are much cheaper than advanced guided missiles. We also need to consider loiter time over targets, amount of ordnance carried, survivability of damaged, and the ability to conduct forward air control. The A-10 was designed to blow up Soviet tanks on the plains of Europe. A-10 can make repeated passes and blasts at enemy positions with a 30 millimeter multi-barrel Gatling gun. The A-10 operates like a tank in the sky that can take multiple direct hits before being disabled. It has an armored fuselage that is able to take a beating. The A-10 is best flown when there is air superiority that enables it to linger over the battlefield unthreatened. The A-10 is vulnerable to advanced aircraft or air. Uh, as early as 1984, the, aircraft, the Air Force had concerns the A-10 wouldn't survive against Soviet air defenses.